kinds of emotions other than anxiety, depression, um, are you sensitive to? Like, you know, some people have a tendency to become susceptible to fear or jealousy or grief or rejection or humiliation or jealousy or uh, rejection embarrassment In, in sales, so I'm kind of used to you know, rejection. Mm -hmm. So uh, nine times out of ten, you're going to hear no. Right. So it's it's I, I just try to, to you know, move on. Mm -hmm. And what about like in personal, like in relationships? How do you how do you uh, move on? What does that look like? I usually try to just forget it and. A relationship, or, or you know, something like that. I just try to you know, either put it behind me, or uh, I'd say I just put it behind me. I'm not too much for trying to make it better. Okay. And are you successful with that? You're able to put it behind you. Do you wind up, you know, going back and thinking about it a lot? And uh. Not so much on the, the smaller level. Yeah. It, it depends on, on the issue. Yeah. What about with the divorce? Uh, with the divorce, I, I was happy. Yeah. Not happy, but I wouldn't say I, uh, you know, I, was, I was glad that it happened mm -hmm. and happy to, to move on with my life. Mm -hmm. Was there ever a, uh, you've been in a relationship where you were really hurt really badly by rejection from it? Uh, when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And how did you move on from it? Uh, yeah, that's a bit of a, <laughs> if you want to hear that story, but, uh, yeah, I eventually I, got the closure I needed. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, no, I, I do want to. <laughs> what happened? Uh, well, I, uh, the girl I went out with all through college, four years we were in high school, thought we were going to get married. Uh, we ended up breaking up after that, which uh, for me was devastating. And I guess uh, she went her way, I went mine, and uh, I ran into her about three years later. Uh, and she had gotten married uh, a few months earlier. And I ended up sleeping with her then. And so then after that, I just was glad I wasn't the guy that she married because mm -hmm. here she was cheating on her yeah. husband. So okay. it was a very neat way to sum that up. Mm -hmm. um, and prior to that, had you been thinking about her much? Or yes, sure. Yeah. Um, how did you, what was sort of your mental, emotional state around thinking about her? What, did, you know, what kind of emotions did you still have? Um, just that I wanted it to still be there. You know, I wanted it to be the way it you know, was, and I knew it wasn't. It was a kind of a deteriorating situation. Uh, it was more, you know, more of a loss feeling. And did you put yourself out there despite that? Or were you... Yeah. Or were you, uh, yeah, you weren't avoiding dating or? No, I was dating then, but I wouldn't say I got involved emotionally mm -hmm. with anyone to that level. Because? I just think it was luck. It just didn't happen. Okay. You felt you were capable or willing and able? Or yeah. To open was, up again? Yes.
did you in those three years were you did you find yourself you know thinking about it a lot or uh, yes. How did you feel about her specifically? Like what emotion did you think about her at that time? What was your emotional state? Um, yeah, it's just one of those re relationships where yeah, you always have feelings for somebody, but uh, you know, like I said at the time, I, I kind of wanted it to go back to it, mm -hmm. even though I couldn't go back because it. it was, you know, we had broken up before and gone back and it was getting worse and worse. So, it, you know, uh, intellectually, I, I knew it wasn't possible to get her back or get that situation back. So, uh, I wasn't too, uh, you know, I wasn't stalking her or, yeah. you know, you have to come back because I, I knew that wasn't so you're it feeling wasn't the way I wanted to yeah. go. So you're feeling some regret for the relationship. Yeah, it was more regret. Yes. Any, any other strong emotion you would say? Um, rejection. Mm -hmm. Any um, anger, or revenge, or anger, or hurt, or those kinds of things. Well, maybe a little anger at myself that I couldn't, you know, make it work or. Make her happy enough to stick around. Yeah, any, yeah, like anything rational, you know, rational, irrational, usually they're irrational. Um, public speaking, I'm not, I'm okay here, but I, and I speak in front of small audiences for my work. Mm -hmm. I guess a fear of, of, you know, being the center of attention. Mm -hmm. I, I don't so much. Did you have um, test anxiety when you were a student? Uh, no. How about um, like social kind of anxiety, like going to a party where you don't know people? Is that a big thing? Yeah. Social anxiety, sure. Mm -hmm. Is it more before you go or or while you're there? I'd say while I'm there. Would you say you're more um, introverted or extroverted? I'd say introverted. And how do you, um, what else can you tell me about your personality? What other kinds of things that we talked about? Oh, let's see. I'd say I'm fairly easy to get along with. say I'm calm or even tempered, even though I'm not inside. Mm -hmm. uh, some people say I'm funny, I like to use sarcasm. And, uh,
Jimmy, um, are you sensitive to clothes being too tight around your neck or your waist? Yes. Both? I never wear it around necks. Okay. What about around your waist? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm sensitive to it. Any other sensitivities that you have um, to things in the um, environment, like noise, like music, or just perfumes, different things? Uh, yeah, perfumes I generally don't like, mm -hmm. or in certain smells. What are they? Soapy smell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tends to mm -hmm. um, What are the kinds of things you sense it into? Anything in the environment at all? Um, people, situations. Really sensitive to anything mm -hmm. in particular. Yeah. Okay. Um, how are you with criticism? Uh, okay, at this stage of my life. If it's constructive, it doesn't like ruin your whole day or you keep thinking about it all the time. No, I did something, you know, something negative or, you know, you should do this better. Mm -hmm. I usually give things my best shot, so not good enough. Disappointing, but at the same time, I you know, I usually feel like I put the, the effort out there. Mm -hmm. okay. How are you in terms of patience? Do um, you tend to be a patient person or an impatient person? I'm usually impatient with things, but like waiting in line or traffic. Those things bother you. Um, not so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, that kind of waiting, I don't. I don't doesn't. Accepted. Okay. What? So, what, are, what would be an example of where it's not, you're not very patient? Um, usually when people are slow. Mm -hmm. The checkout register and it's not moving at the speed it should be moving. Mm -hmm. it, it all goes back to you know the anxiety of the expected result mm -hmm. and that not happening. Same with the, the irritation. Mm -hmm. There's an expectation and it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. That's what usually uh, either gets you know, impatient. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 